Hi guys, you're welcome back to OZK TV. My name is Ozioma. I hope you are celebrating your Christmas very well. Compliments of the season once again. Well, I'm here again with another video. As you can see, this beautiful young woman, an artist, a model, a multi-talented Nigerian filmmaker, Renoa Giwa Amu. Isn't she beautiful? Well, we are not celebrating her because she won, maybe she won an award or anything. We're not even saying, it's not about celebrating her because she is no more. She is no more on earth. She has left. She took her life on the 26th of December, you no, know, on the Boxing Day. She started to leave this earth. She got tired of staying here. So he said, I'm checking out. Quite sad. What happened to her? Did she decide, did she just live like that? No. She got tired because nobody could listen to her. Rena is the daughter of uh, a popular clergyman and lawyer, Femi Giwamu. She, well, I told you she, she took her life because she alleged that when she was seven, seven years old, her father violated her. She made this known through several posts on her Facebook page. You know, each time she had the opportunity, she said something about her relationship with her father, her family. There was a phone call she made, and she posted it on she posted it on on her social media handle. About um, she was speaking with her mom, and her mom was screaming on the other side, on the other end of the of the phone. So she, the mother, did not hear her out. It's still about this issue. You know, in several posts on her Facebook page, she she talked about her mother and other family members, you know, for not believing her claims against her father. According to her, and I quote, they always find an excuse for this man, and enough is enough. My uncles and aunties who have been raining insults and complaining against me need to ask themselves, what they are truly afraid of right now is only the truth getting out that scares pedophiles. She wrote, she said this in, in October. She wrote it in October. You know, in in September she called her mother out that uh, if she eventually uh, died, that no crocodile tears at her funeral. You know, she said, in case there's any crocodile tears at my funeral. My mother, mother, she put it in quotes, finally called. I'm on my own as usual, but apparently I'm also doing hard drugs. You know, she wrote it, this one, in September. You know, this lady, before she left this earth, she hinted, you know, several times that she was going to kill herself, that she was going to do something. But you see, nobody listened to her. Maybe they thought she was joking. People don't joke with things like this. She alleged that her father molested her when she was younger, when she was seven years old. She told her mother, her mother didn't believe her. She told her uncles, her aunties, nobody believed her. This thing still happens today. Because in Africa, it is a taboo. They consider it a taboo for a child to say that the father violated her. But aren't they making a mistake? What if the mother had taken out time to, you know, investigate this accusation? What if the aunties or the uncles had done something? What if they had checked it? 
What if, what if, so many what ifs. If they had done something, wouldn't this lady be living today? Isn't she beautiful? What a beautiful, talented young woman. You know, and this lady also suffered depression. She suffered, she, she was lonely. No, loneliness. Loneliness is a disease. Loneliness is not something anyone, you know, could go, should go through. She hinted that she also had difficult relationships, you know, with the opposite sex. So she couldn't take all these things. They were just too much for her. That was how she saw it. So each time she was on Instagram, on her Facebook, she said so many things. I mean, you can check them out. Because there are things I cannot post here that um, YouTube will not allow. So maybe you should check them out and see what she said. You know, you would, you would really pity this young woman. African parents need to do more. Why would you chase your child away? You shoo her away as if you're chasing away a, a, a dog. When a child comes to complain to you, look at what my father is doing. Look at what uncle is doing. Because so many of these uncles that come to stay with parents, they do a lot of things to children. What you should do is try to find out. If this child is telling me the truth, try to investigate. That the person is the father doesn't mean that the father could not do such. After all, even till today, right under our nose, this is, this is as still happening. You see father molesting their children. Even as young as a year old, two years old, they are there. Check out the papers now. You will see. So if this girl had complained several times that my father did this, they should have, you know, tried to find out. Then they would, the mother would tell the child, are you mad? Are you all right? Why would you accuse your father of such a, a nonsense? Why would you say that? Don't you know who your father is? You know, it even gets worse if your father happens to be somebody in the society. Maybe a clergyman, a, a teacher, a politician, you know, somebody that is known. If you happen to fall in that group, forget it. You will suffer in silence. And you know, it's not everybody that has that courage to bear this kind of a thing. Like this lady now. Her mother didn't hear her out. The day she called her, she was screaming on the phone. Apparently, the mother also had a difficult time too. Nobody knows. You should have checked. That the man is a person that doesn't make, make, mean that uh, he will not do something evil. You don't know what is in the person's heart. After all, the Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? African parents, they are, they, they are guilty of this thing. They don't want to hear. They will tell you, don't you know our family? Don't spoil the family's name. Don't you know who we are in society? What is your family name? What is a family name if that family cannot keep its name? What, what is a family name if the family's name cannot protect the child? You are just about your family name. What about the children? Have you considered how they feel? Have you considered how they see themselves? The family name shouldn't be the most important thing. The most important thing should be to keep the children safe from uh, predators. Keep them safe from molesters. Keep them safe from unfriendly people, wicked people, unreasonable men around them. That should be the, the main thing for the family to look, to look for. Look out for what will make your child comfortable. And this thing about parents, you know, in Africa, most parents, they will tell you, um, um, they will start comparing their children, you know, to other children. Haven't you seen that boy? Is he, is he, is he not your mate? Is, he, is this person not your mate? The parents should be asking themselves now, or the children should be asking the parents, is the Dangote not your, your age mate? Is the uh, uh, Buhari not your, your age mate? Yes, because what is good for the goose is good for the gander. If you're comparing your children with other children, they should also compare you to the other parents so that you see how it hurts. We should do the right thing. 
You should be, don't be the kind of father, the kind of mother, your children will hear that you're coming back. Everybody will just run and take their position because you are a lion. How do you feel if your children don't come to you to tell you things? You know, a family should be a, relax, a relaxing place. It should be a relaxation spot for parents, for children. Your children should be able to talk to you. They should be able to, you know, come to you to tell you things. That is how you know what is happening in their lives. That is how you know when people are molesting them. That is how you know when people are bullying them. No, maybe children are bullying them in schools or anywhere. Don't be the kind of parents that your children will run from. Be the kind of parents your children should run to. They see you, they are happy. Don't scare them. Do not raise children in an atmosphere of fear. No, don't do that. In an atmosphere of unbelief, of anything bad. Train your children to believe in you, to see you as their friend. And if you're a mother, listen to your girls. Maybe in the compound where they live, some people are, are doing some inappropriate things to them. Come on now. Listen to them when they tell you. Do a check. Find out. Every allegation should be checked out. Don't be a, a, someone that you're a warrior. Your children cannot talk. They are always in fear. It's only when you step out of the house that they can breathe a sigh of relief. Heave a sigh of relief, I meant to say. That is only the time they can play. Once they hear that you're coming back, wow, everybody runs and hides. Why? You should be bringing your children back. If they had listened to this young woman, I'm sure she'll be, she'll be alive today. She has already told them that don't shed crocodile tears. She has left, never to, be, never to come back again. Such a beautiful young woman. Intelligent, young woman, vibrant, young woman, wasted just like that. She, she's gone. Because nobody listened to her. Be someone people, can, people should come to, to talk to you. Have a listening ear. Be there for people. Be there for your children. Even if you cannot be there for others, at least be there for your own children. You know, it, it means a lot to them. Forget about your family name. Family names should be able to protect the young ones. Should be able to keep the young ones. So that when they remember that this is my family, they will be happy. Not the one that will kill them, kill their aspirations, kill their joy, kill their desire, everything. Let us learn a lesson from this thing. African parents, please, we need to do better. We need to do more. We need to step up that act. We are not, we are not getting it. Because this thing, this girl complained of, is still happening even till now. Check out the papers. You will see them there. Let us do the right thing. Let us call our, let us be able to embrace our children, call them home, stop comparing them with others. Let us do the right thing. It will help us. This is how we have a, this is how we can strengthen the home front and strengthen the, the society. Yes. Well, that's all I have for you here today in this video. If you're here for the first time, kindly consider subscribing to my channel support my channel to grow subscription is free and while you are at it also enable the notification bell so you get more of my content i appreciate you thank you so much for stopping by i'll see you in the next video bye bye i love you